Well, hello everyone. I decided to come back with another quick video. And today I am changing my Ava. My Ava sculpt, Ava is a vinyl doll. The sculpt is um, by Cassie Brace. And I just love this little cutie. Um, she, I don't know, there's something about her I just adore but anyway um, I haven't shown her on any of my videos before and you can see my messy props over here what I'm gonna do but I thought I would change her she's had this sleeper on for mm, <laughs> at least four or five months maybe longer so anyway I thought I would go ahead and change her and let you look at her cuteness um, I named her Ava Ava Noel because I got her on Christmas time not super super creative huh for a name but I thought it was fitting um how oh, this sleeper is interesting this is a little next sleeper I have on here and it's so it looks vintage to me very 70s vibe like reminds me of um like an old couch or something but there was something about it that I liked um so anyway um I hope everyone's doing well here in Kentucky. It has finally today gotten a little cooler. Um, you know, I've been still have not been out in my taking a baby out in my orbit stroller system. Um, it is raining. Has been rainy yesterday, and today it's cold and rainy, and um, just not a day that would be good for strolling, unfortunately. So. It sits in my living room, <laughs> just waiting. Um, okay, I thought I would change her diaper too. She's had the same diaper on. Um, obviously it doesn't matter, but um, I just thought it would be nice. This is just a plain white diaper. Okay, cool, I didn't know I had one of those. So, I apologize, I got a phone call right in the middle of that. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna change her diaper using one of the Millie Moon diapers, the diapers I got from Target. I have been talking with one of my friends about, I've just noticed that I just keep looking for, for babies, like I love them. Um, <laughs> But how can you, I don't have time to interact with them and it's hard for me to square off in my head getting more dolls and not being able to kind of like interact with them. But anyway, I've been looking and one of the sculpts that, I don't know, I guess it's popular, right? I think that could be why I'm interested in it, but I am very much drawn to the Benjamin sculpt. And <laughs> of course it's, I believe it's now, I think, I think it's now sold out. So, um, they're pretty expensive for, for me, for a vinyl doll. Um, I was, uh, I think the cheapest one I've seen is about $1,100, um, which, I mean, I've paid more for a vinyl doll, but I've just decided that right now, I just would rather try to find a, a more <laughs> inexpensive version um that may be unlikely because it is sold out i understand that that um kind of makes things more expensive um i'm putting on a oh this isn't backwards this is an outfit i like it because it has elastic at the collar which is nice to hide the cloth body but this is an outfit i got at like um, a department store called dillard's i think i got it last year um it was on clearance. I think I paid like six or seven bucks for it. Um, I think it's, is it just one knee? Oh no, starting. It's a starting out. This is a newborn size outfit for Ava. Anyway, thought I'd use some of the clothes that I've had forever <laughs> and never do use. But um, anyway, so yeah, I've been looking at the Benjamin sculpt. I don't know, something about the face. I did, I have a new baby coming that I purchased um, from an artist on eBay. I believe it's coming from the Russian Federation. So, don't know when she'll be here. Um, no surprise that it's a girl, as I've said before. 
I seem to gravitate toward girl dolls for whatever reason, just my preference. Um, with the exception of Ace, who I showed last time, which is the Alexis sculpt by Cassie Brace. So anyway, have a new baby coming probably mid-October-ish, um, if everything goes well. It's already been shipped. Isn't she so sweet? Oh, okay. Let me, these shoes, I think these are gonna be, they're way too big for her, but they're so cute. Let me see what they look like on the camera. Ah, okay, they're fine. Why not? Oh my goodness, it looks like she's looking right at the camera. I don't know, there's something about Ava's face that I think is just captivating. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm trying to sell a lot of my dolls, but this is not one of the ones that I have even contemplated selling, and I do not, um, I don't interact with her much. Of course, we have to change the blanket because it doesn't match, right? Okay, hold on. Let me put her down on the bouncy seat while I lay out the blanket that I have picked out that I think coordinates nicely, sorry. This is one of those made in India blankets. I resorted to buying them on eBay now because they are hard to come by now. I don't know if they're coming out with new ones, I think maybe, or, or what's going on. But okay, so let's put little Miss Ava Noel back up here. I'm gonna comb her hair a little bit. Oh. <laughs> oh, that face. I love her face. So sweet. Her hair's a little unruly. So yeah, she is not one that I've contemplated selling. And I am, I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, oh my gosh. Um, I tend to buy and sell dolls quickly, like very quickly. Now, Aww. That's the one of the few magnetic passies I could find that would go with this outfit. She looks so sweet. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, I just get I buy and sell so quickly, and it's hard to sell. Very hard to sell. And uh, so, anyway, I end up keeping them, which is fine. Uh, maybe I just need to appreciate what I have, and I do. Isn't she sweet? For sure, sometimes it's hard to comb her hair. I don't know, what do you think? It comes with this headband, but it's too big for her head, and it's too hard to knot. But let's go ahead and try. Oh my goodness, you're so sweet. Oh, <laughs> maybe that is cute. Oh, she's out of frame. There she is, little Miss Ava. Say hi, aunties and uncles. Okay, guys, that's really all I had for today. Hope you enjoyed seeing Miss Ava, and um, I will come back with another video soon.